Hey bus converters, Hurricane Florence is headed our way. The predictions keep changing, but now we're looking at possible eventual landfall in Charleston. And I have made some timely improvements to the bus. Namely, I fixed the leaking windows. Let me just say I fixed almost all but one leaking windows, which I am so happy about. Last night we got like a little bit of a rainstorm and I came out here and checked everything. I am super excited to be leak testing the bus. Please excuse me for not wearing a shirt. Please excuse the lack of lighting. I did some leak proofing. I, I got the corners with that GeoCell ProFlex. I'm really hoping that that fixed most of my problems. Oh, and I have a huge mustache, which is just for fun. Okay, no leaking so far. Usually I would see a little bit of water in the corners right there and there's no leaking. No leaking. Um, this was a big problem spot. And this is just stain. Dry, 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 dry. We're dry, guys. We did it. Okay, this looks wet. Is this wet? That's damp. Uh, looks like I got one leak right here. This video quality probably sucks. One, I shouldn't say no leaks. There was one leak. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. When I did my additional ceiling, I missed that spot in every single window. And that's where it was leaking from. Pretty much leak free now and Hurricane Florence is on its way. What I am concerned about is flooding. I spoke to some diesel mechanics, however, and they all told me on like a diesel bus, the air intake is up so high and everything down there in the engine is pressurized. And I'm gonna have my electrical components disconnected of the battery. So there's no concern about shorting. That the only thing I really have to worry about, unless obviously it gets ridiculously high, is is these two vents. You can see them both actually. What I was advised to do was just block them off with some plastic, some zip ties, and duct tape. That being said, if something freaky happens, like three feet of water here, I am mildly concerned, and so I have a kind of crazy backup plan. I have 10 two by fours, which I'm going to lay underneath the rear wheels, like every four to six inches, and drive this thing out of here. Now I'm gonna be at work, definitely Thursday, possibly Friday, but I think the bulk of the rain is actually gonna come hit us afterwards. I think after this hurricane makes landfall in North Carolina, whether or not it remains a hurricane and comes to us, we're gonna get a significant amount of rain. So just in case I did that, I got the two by fours and I'm actually gonna reinstall the front seat so that if I have to, oh, I have a parking spot too. If I have to, I'm gonna drive this thing out of here Saturday morning. It's probably not gonna happen though, just worst case scenario. Bao and Nova are most likely leaving. They're gonna leave in the early hours in the morning. The reason being that because I have to be at work, I have to worry about them. And if they're here, I'm going to worry a lot. Really just because power's gonna go out, tree could fall, it could flood. Unlikely, it could happen. Good girl, what a good girl. I gotta go get that little rascal peel off watching my sneak up on him. Okay, I gotta use reverse psychology, he's running away. He loves me so much though, he's gonna run right back, you'll see. Oh yeah, we're all prepped back here. Outdoor shower is all vacated. Deck, that's hopefully not gonna fly anywhere. Oh, I hear peel off. Look. Oh, there he is. When they love you, you just gotta trick them. Reverse psychology. <laughs> Are you barking at me now? What a silly boy. A really sucky thing is that somehow I've gotta get that seat out of this shed. Boy, sucks. I am not supposed to be wearing this clothing to do this kind of work. It is nasty out here. Sure is. The humidity is like 150% right now. 105,000 humidity. Totally. Yeah. This is the quickest way that I could get my um, air leak from the seat covered and have something to sit on and have the illusion of safety, even though I don't have any safety because the seat's just rocking around. But I'm gonna start up and see if I have any leaks. And I'm like, part of me is like, oh, I just wanna drive the bus and get out of here. But that'd be a bad idea. No AC on the bus, nowhere to go. Tires are old, no safety, no seats. Bad idea, I'm gonna resist. <laughs> Swivel. <laughs> Here an air leak and my air pressure is not climbing above like 65. So I'm gonna get underneath the bus and see what it is. 
Well, while I was getting changed to crawl underneath the bus, the air leak resolved itself, and I now have 90 PSI of air. But I wanted to take you to the back right here because most of you guys haven't heard this bus run, especially not from the inside back here with all the insulation. She purrs real nice, she's real gentle. She's a real gentle purr. I think that like, I just can't wait to wake up my wife and kids to that noise. Oh, we're leaving, okay, the engine's on. Okay, so did I really have to do this? Maybe not. I am probably just freaking out and staying busy because there's a hurricane coming and Val really wants me to just go inside and relax with her and I just wish I could do that, but it drives me flipping insane. So this way I have like, if the bus is gonna drive out of here, and the conditions present themselves, I have a way to do it. It's probably gonna chew up my yard, but I'm not gonna bog down. I got these, I hope I don't, I got these two by fours. We're gonna lay them like every six inches. The wheels are just gonna keep biting them. They're gonna crush them into the dirt and be fine. I wanna save my pennies for a little piece of what you own and beg you for a slice when you are old and overgrown. I am. I wanna save my pennies for a little piece of what you own and beg you for a slice when you are old and overgrown. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but it just got super eerie in here. Hey. It's just me here holding down the fort. Valanova evacuated to Florida where they are staying in a little college on a blueberry cottage on a blueberry farm. Uh, we are not really gonna get too much rain right here in Charleston. There's no storm surge in my neighborhood, so I don't have to worry about that. I only have to worry about one little thing, and that's a tree falling because of the wind onto the bus or the house or anybody else's house anywhere. Local storm Florence. Yeah, we did okay. Yeah, we were fine. We had some wind and some rain, but nothing like... Yeah, you want, you want me to check on the windows? Sure. It is so awesome to have figured out the problem for getting hit by a hurricane, which we did not get hit by. We got the outer bands of a tropical storm. In fact, it's like we are right underneath it right now and there is just nothing going on. I'm actually gonna go to Lowe's and get some plumbing parts to finish my half bath renovation, which I'm gonna show you. Why not, you know? Not all about Gilligan Phantom here on the Gilligan Phantom YouTube channel. It's about family and everything we do. I've been spending um, all day working on a project that I should have finished a long time ago, but I didn't because of the bus. And we just realized that we don't really need it that much. But this is the half bath I've renovated like, and I just hadn't finished this built-in bench top that I came up with. And we used to have this, this, this like really gross tile. It was actually caving in around there because of some previous damage. As for this one leak I found in this one window, nothing is super obvious, but I think that that right there just needs a little bit more attention. So I'll just probably do another coat of the GeoCell ProFlex. You know, I totally acknowledge that these windows are not really ever gonna be perfect. Probably running beads of GeoCell across these things maybe like every six months just for the sake of prevention. Oh, by the way, to all the people who commented on our last video giving me amazing suggestions, you guys were really helpful. You helped me take a step back, slow down, find the little bit that I was missing. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for taking the time to write out your comments. I really appreciate it. Um, it's really great to have so many subscribers. I believe we have almost 2,400 right now, and I got lots of comments about people saying that they really enjoy our videos, and um, that makes me really happy. So thanks, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already su subscribed. Hit that like button if you like this video. And Nova is walking. Nova, you wanna show daddy? Come on. Let's do it. <laughs> Go get daddy. <laughs> <laughs> what a big girl. Wow, Nova. Can what you a come back girl. to mommy? Come on, Nova. Come on, Nova. Come on, Nova. <laughs> now she's just showing off. You didn't even come to me. <laughs>